Hey guys, Spotty Hand here. Um, we are going to be inoculating our jars. These are a few things you are going to need. Some paper towels. Uh, we have our jet lighter again. Our needle tip. We have our spore syringe that we made last time, which I'll open shortly. Um, we have some, you can see I've already cut pieces because it's impossible to do when you're wearing gloves. Um, we have some micropore tape. So that's just it there, just some surgical tape. Uh, you can use any breathable tape instead of that. We have some gloves as usual, our isopropyl alcohol, and our hand sanitizer. We've also got a marker for later. All right, um, over here we have our jars from the last video. They've cooled down nicely now. We're going to leave that lid on until the very last minute when we need to open them up. Over here, I have my little area set up with some foil and some paper towels. What we just want to do is get our isopropyl alcohol and spray even up the top there on the walls. We'll give a little mist to the bottom. All right, I will be back in a second when I set this camera up. All right, guys, we are ready to go. We've got our spore syringe, our jet lighter, our needle tip. We've got some isopropyl alcohol. We've got our paper towel. Over here, we have our pot full of jars. And I'm gonna show you what we do next. So what I've done is I've given our spore syringe from the last video just a little spritz on the outside of uh, the alcohol just to kill anything that might have come from the fridge. We're going to open it up now. Actually, first of all, I'm going to get some gloves. All right. Now, I know they say these gloves are sterile in the packet, but just in handling them, taking them out and whatnot, I don't trust them. So once I do put them on, a little bit of hand sanitizer. And we are ready to go. All right, so we're going to open up our spore syringe. Get rid of that now. now, you can see, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on camera that it is just sort of a gray cloudy liquid in there. We want to really shake that up. Shake, shake, shake. We're also going to give this a spritz with the alcohol. Just wipe it down just like we did in the other video. Get all the way in there. All right. All right, guys, everything is going to get alcoholed as usual. We want to keep this as sterile as possible. Ideally, face mask and try not to talk, cough, sneeze, anything like that over this. This is a crucial part in our little process here. Okay. So we have that. I'm going to flame sterilize that. I'll show you what that is in a moment. Now we are going to get out jars from over here. Okay, we can see they've still got the foil. We're gonna take that off and place each of them. And I'll take the towel over here, just because there might be a bit of residual moisture on the outside. We don't want to contaminate anything. There we go. Now we are ready to get another paper towel. Give it a little light squirt with our alcohol again. Just gonna lightly wipe down where we're gonna be injecting. So just over those holes. All right. Okay guys, the flame sterilization now. Okay, so we have our needle tip. 
We have our spore syringe with our rubber cap, which we're going to pop off. Put to the side. Needle tip on. We're just going to give it one last shake because I can see a clump in there. Alright, that should do it. Okay. Cap off. Now we're just going to get, just like our scalpel from the other video, we're going to heat, heat, heat until it goes a little bit red. You might hear it sizzle from a bit of the liquid in there, that's fine. Now we could use that hot and just straight away inject it because the first mill will actually cool that needle tip down. But I'm going to just let it sit for a moment. Okay, we can put our lighter away now. Alright. Now guys, you'll see I've got the injection port uh, done in this one. I'm not actually going to use that, I'm just going to use the two holes. In these ones, I will be injecting all three. Now, you can see the markings here uh, on the side of our needle. Um, you would need, I've done anywhere down to about a half a mil to inoculate a jar, just one squirt. I like to put about a mil in each jar, maybe a little bit more. Um, just speeds up the process a bit. If you can do it in three different points, that's good. And I'll show you how to do that now. So. What we are going to do is just poke in our needle like so. Try to push it up against the wall of the glass. And what you will see, hopefully through the camera, is a little squirt of liquid just coming through. We'll take that out, turn it around, and do it again. I'm not sure if you can see the little squirt of liquid that comes out there. And that is it. That is done. I'm going to do the same to the rest of these jars. Ideally, uh, sterilizing the top with alcohol each time you do it. But once again, this is the way I do it. I've never had a problem. Right, this one has three holes, so we're going to do three. One. Two. And three. Alright, last one now guys. One, two, three. Okay, now what we can actually do is pop the needle off that, put our rubber stopper back on, and that can go back in some foil and you can use that for your next few jars. Okay, so I'm just going to put that off to the side. All right, last step. Using our little Sharpie here and our tape that we cut earlier. As I said, it is very difficult to rip off that tape with these latex gloves. Um, you can try if yours is a better cutter than mine, but um, yeah, so with the tape, we're just going to cover each of those holes. And then once that's done, we are going to use the tape that's there if it's big enough. Um, or you can put another piece of tape if you really need to. And we're just going to write the date. Just gives you an idea. Um, once you have a few different sets of jars going, guys, when they were inoculated, how long you should be waiting, uh, if there might be a problem with them, etc. So I do always like to date my jars. Now, obviously, I'm one piece short here, so I'll just grab that. All right, and we're going to write the date, which is, I believe, the 16th of the 1st. You guys don't need to see me do the rest of these. You get the idea. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll be back with another video shortly showing you one of the many processes we need to do from here.